Hey everybody, just after a couple of weeks ago when we had said we hadn't done an unboxing in a long time when we did an unboxing video for uh, Back to the Future goodies, I got the first of three packages in the mail today uh, from the Coca-Cola Insiders Club. This is a pretty fun box here. This box used to be a box and will be a box again. Um, the Coca-Cola Insiders Club is um, a paid service. It's, it works out to 15 bucks a month. Um, it was, I think, $45, and I, I'm hoping I get the, the numbers right, but I believe that's what it is. It's a limited capacity club, which is basically kind of like a test market for some of the upcoming items uh, from Coca-Cola. So it's almost like beta test for some of the, uh, the goodies that Coke is working on that should hit store shelves, at least um, in some regions. Um, very shortly. Um, this club is something that uh, I believe after going to the World of Coke in Atlanta they had told us about um, and when I got the email the last time uh, by the time I clicked the link to sign up um, it was sold out. So this is a, a fairly limited, I don't know what the actual amount of people that they accept for each uh, period but we signed up in December uh, and we got our first box today for January so we're going to see what's in the box. What's in the box? Um, no, that's refreshing. And this came via UPS also, so I'm anticipating that like the money that you spent for the box every month, it's pretty much going to shipping, as opposed to like the old school like Loot Crate and uh, those types of things where it came via regular mail. Um, so, leave it. This is the inside of the box. We get, whoa. All of this goodness. Um, refreshment has arrived and you get a uh, card that tells you what's in the box and also hey Kyle welcome to the club. The Insiders Club is back to bring you new products before they hit store shelves nationwide plus exclusive celebrity virtual experiences and fun swag. We hope you enjoy the first of three refreshing insider boxes heading your way. Cheers! And uh, these are um, the items that uh, are in the box. So I'll go through them here in a moment. And also this month, you're invited to enjoy a virtual wellness workout with ESPN College Game Day host Desmond Howard. Look for an email with all the details of the event soon. So that's a pretty cool little perk. And on the back, you have a little word search puzzle. So let's check out the drinks that are included in here. First item up. Let me put this on the floor. This is a Coca-Cola retro can. So I'll put this in front of my face so it can focus. And I believe this is just regular Coke in a retro style can. You have a Dunkin' iced coffee and this is Girl Scout Coconut Caramel. I love iced coffee so can't wait to try this. And then the last item, drink wise, is this Powerade zero sugar um, citrus peach so probably uh, I'm anticipating my least favorite thing out of the box but we'll see I'm not that big on peach and then you have another box to the side oh wait there's more so let's see what's in the more here and there's a couple little goodies here um, High C flavor pack singles to go. And these are both the same, so two flesh and fruit punch drink mixes. I love these little single pack things that you can uh, just put into a water bottle. So I think everyone kind of tends to bring these water bottles, at least we keep some of them in the car. And then we have a uh, little fanny pack the Coca-Cola Insiders Club fanny pack or I think because fanny pack is so dated people just call them hip packs now but in any event it's Insiders Club hip pack and the big thing about this once upon let me see if you can focus on this once upon a time this was a bottle so the best part of me is made from post-consumer plastic. So the tag is recycled paper. 
the hip pouch is actually recycled plastic from soda bottles. And then we have one last little goodie here. Shrink wrap box. All right. This is a very odd deck of cards. I don't know how practical this is, but this is a pretty fun little Coca-Cola collectible. So it's a full deck of playing cards and little Coke bottles. We did a whole uh, video, actually we did two videos at the World of Coke, so you can check those videos out. We explain uh, how the Coke iconic bottle came to be in that particular shape and give you a little bit of history around Coca-Cola also. And I'll put a link to those videos up here so you guys can click them done here. Um, let's check these guys out. I'm going to just try this retro Coke can. It's pretty unusual. It's 10 ounces. 10.5. Also interesting is that it still has the um, recycle piece on the top of the can. Of course, I can't show you now because I just opened it. Mm. Very sweet. And this doesn't have real sugar. This is high fructose corn syrup. But good. Cheers, Coca-Cola. And Let's try out, actually we'll go Powerade second because I'm anticipating being able to cleanse the palate with the Duncan for the last piece. It smells just as bad as I thought it would be, but it's okay. It's very peachy. Very, very peachy, um, with a hint of citrus in there. Um, this is not one that I would buy myself, but maybe we can get Mary in here and she could try that one. We'll see how she likes it. And last up, this is Dunkin' Ice Coffee. This sounds delicious. Let's see how it tastes. Right. Shake this a little bit first. All right. Mm. Let's try this guy out. Mm. Got a little bit of everything. I will say the coffee. Is still more overpowering than the uh, coconut caramel. Mm. I like it. Let's see if Mikey likes it. All right, Mikey. <laughs> Baby Yoda in the shot. With Sammy. <laughs> Tissue on the couch for some reason. Oh, napkin. <laughs> oh. And now Eddie. Eddie. Mary, not a giant iced coffee drinker. Which one is that one? Do you like it? It's all right. It's Girl Scout coconut caramel. And now for the Powerade. Oh, it stinks. It's nasty. It's what? peach citrus. Nah, I'm yeah. not too fond of that one. That's a swing and a miss for me. Yeah. And you're a peach person. Mm -hmm. It's gross. Well. <laughs> now Mikey Jr. I like this. Isn't it? Can I have it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a win for that. So the Duncan is a win. The Powerade. Oh, even his face is all squinty. This was a great for me.
And? It's not bad. So we got a not bad. It's pretty bad. It doesn't really taste like anything. It's, it does, it tastes very watery. Yeah. Yeah. So. Alright, so there you have it. Um, if Coca-Cola is watching, um, I have no idea if they check out these vids or not, but uh, at least you get some honest feedback. The Powerade, I do like Powerade a lot, um, but no, you know, like normally like grape or blue or um, the lemon lime type Powerade, but I didn't particularly like that. It looks like you could have gotten one of two flavors in here this month for Powerade. The other one I think is a watermelon flavor. It, it kind of looks like it. Or a grapeish type flavor. I can't really read because the picture is so tiny. But um, pretty cool box. I'm looking forward to getting the second box next month. And if you guys like this vid, then I will post the opening of the second box when we get it next month. Um, but for now, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my can of classic Coke. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.